Oppenheimer. Rated R for sexuality, nudity, and language. Runtime of three hours. Perhaps due to the runtime, this is a very fast-paced movie with constant dialogue. The visuals are spectacular, and I have no doubt it would be an incredible IMAX experience. However, as the audio can be overwhelming, I would recommend prioritizing a theater with the best sound system you can find. An improperly sound-balanced theater could be a pain to the ears, even if a feast for the eyes. On the topic of imagery, there is no CGI, but that is not to say there are no visual effects, which can depict very abstract imagery, but effectively communicates the experience of the main character. The subjectivity is enhanced by many surprising dream sequences. There is a greater emphasis on the subjective view of the character in the color sequences, but that is not to say that the interspliced monochrome segments are entirely objective themselves. The two segments have their own main cast of characters, so while they are separate stories, they complement each other very well. The last 30 minutes tie up loose ends, but do feel like they could be the subject of another film, as the story themes and ideas are relevant to Louis Strauss more than they are directly to Oppenheimer. But the story elements wrapped up in the end justify the storytelling devices used earlier, so are needed to tell a cohesive story. It is a well-made film about a very strong story, best experienced in a properly sound balanced theater because it is loud. The long runtime and fast pace will require strong attention to the story.